Okay. Well, it's been quite a while since the last time I was uh, able to stream or post anything to YouTube. I've It's been quite the crazy last several months. We uh, So I hurt my back. So I have a uh, service-connected spinal injury from when I was in the military. I tweaked out my back really bad, so I was out for pretty much like three and a half, almost four weeks. And then... Uh, we went to uh, a wedding in Canada, uh, Eastern Canada, and we live in uh, Western US. Um, and while we were there, I managed to pick up COVID. And so I uh, spent pretty much all of October uh, with COVID. Finally tested negative here about uh, a week ago. But ever since the 14th, I just had the, this bronchitis issue. Finally went in. Turns out it was the uh, beginning stages of pneumonia. I had a little bit of stuff on the x-ray, and so now I'm on antibiotics, and but now I, I still have this, <coughs> this little cough that's not going away. Um, so that's fun. But, uh, you know, got some tea here, big mug of tea. Oh, I'm gonna try and play some Vampire Survivors. I'm just gonna do some quick runs on, um, on Queen Sigma, uh, just uh, try to beat each stage, go through a few of them at least, starting with the first one, see how far we get. So hopefully everything sounds okay. Um, we're gonna go in here, Queen Sigma. <coughs> I'm just gonna start on the first one, turn everything on, no endless mode, and uh, go from there. So, always start out Blood Astronomia, which is so good. <laughs> Pretty much just sit here and uh, not worry about anything for the most part. I also like to grab uh, Gemini, just because um, towards the end I do pick up the cats. I try to pick up, I forget what this one's called now off the top of my head, um, on endless mode. I usually, the uh, the first box that you get <coughs> in endless mode, I usually pick up uh, this thing right here, I forget what it's called, and then with the second box, I usually pick up the um, the evolved version of the guns. <coughs> Again, I forget what they're called, but um, I don't think that that happens on uh, just a normal run. I think that's only in endless mode. I could be wrong. Who knows? I usually just pick this anyway as the second one. Um, definitely like picking up the crown. Third, always go with Mad Grove, just to bring all the uh, various items and stuff in close. So that's always nice. So we want the stone mask. That's it, Shadow Servant is the one that uh, goes with... That I usually pick up um, first. So we're definitely going to go with Laurel, so that eventually we can build the uh, that cloak that uh, reduces all damage. Damage can't be more than 10 health. So essentially you're just <coughs> immortal. <laughs> Excuse me. Again, I apologize for all the coughing. It's one of those things where the more I talk, the more I cough. And, uh, it sucks. I usually like to try and max out the crown first, just get the most bang for my buck. Don't need to take spinach because there's already two spinaches right here for me to pick up. Um, get some damage. Crown. Track door would be nice. You know, let's just uh, reroll until we get an attract orb. There we go. Hot plants, attract orb, victory sword. Ah, I was supposed to grab the uh, fire wand there. <coughs> I hate it when you get the uh, time stop <laughs> at the beginning. <laughs> Uh, 
But yeah, once you get go once you get it rolling, I mean it just just becomes extremely easy to just uh blast through these levels. <laughs> uh, <coughs> so I want the fire orb. I want a cat fire uh, wand and the uh, prismatic missile is usually what I grab. I like doing, you know, the um, brain fart. Uh, the one that kills everything on the map. But um, I decided to kind of switch it up a little bit. Again, on this level, we have 30 minutes, and that's up here at the top right, or at the top center. Um, we have until minute 30 to get all the items we need in order to kill death. <coughs> oh, and, uh, you know, it's fun to play this on Halloween. It is Halloween 2023, so happy Halloween, everyone. box <coughs> Lancet <coughs> items are out there that those items are out there I've got that level item I've got that um, I could use prismatic orb if it will show up Hmm. There it is, prismatic missile. That <coughs> levels off of the crown. So we've got all the items we need for that. So now I can start looking at some other items. I'd like to go with the um, cooldown reduction. Probably, I'll do probably cooldown reduction and the ooh, Tiragisu probably. So yeah, Empty Tomb, Tiragisu, maybe. And then once I get that last item, I can grab some of these um, passive items. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's just pretty much uh, just sit here and let all these guys just come towards you. You don't really have to move at all. Just uh, absolutely destroy them. <laughs> Fortunately, you can't really get evolutions, I believe, until about minute 10 and beyond. So all these chests that are dropping right now are just going to have individual item upgrades, I believe. I'm not really too super interested in picking them up right now. I want to get the laurel fixed up there so that once I grab the uh, left and right piece, uh, I just have to focus on leveling them. Some of these out of there. <coughs> a lot of cats running around, getting in cat fights. <laughs> okay. I guess I can grab some of this chest. Pick up the 
chest. Oh, we might as well. <coughs> might as well go talk to our friendly neighborhood. my dancing man. I was he trying to find him. And all this cacophony. Where are you? Where are you, mister? this one get my uh, primary weapon does more mount or sometimes I'll take the wicked season that one's pretty good Wicked season and also find it like usually my last one is disco of gold but that's usually on endless mode For here though I think I'm gonna grab the extra What do I want as my final? As my final passive item before I pick all these up? It's a good question. So hopefully this isn't too loud for everybody. Why at the 10 minute mark? Not bad, I'll take it. Need to pick up a f sixth item. Mm -hmm. That's out there already. Don't really care about the rain area. Oh, maybe. The fireball's larger, I guess. I don't really have anything else that I really care too much about, so sure. Well, now that I have that, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up some of these items. Get the clover, get regen, get some of these spinaches. Um, get the heart, and now we just do some waiting, get everything leveled up a little bit more. So it looks like I lost health there, but that's just because when you pick up the increased health by 20, this uh, heart, um, it doesn't automatically give you the full new, the new full health. Uh, so you have to regenerate that first. So after the 10 minute mark, so I'm gonna try and. <sighs> Level up a few things. Let's see if I can get Sigma. Not yet. That's one evolution though. The cat's eye. Not that one. Be not. I would like to get the uh, evolution of the her primary weapon because it makes you invulnerable for uh, several seconds, which is nice. I think I'm about ready to just start picking up these uh, two pieces, the left and the right piece, and start working on that cloak. 
because uh, that's all done. Let's see if I can get anything out of this. Yeah, there we go. Sigma. Soul solution, in, I guess. Uh, so you see, I this whirling galaxy mode while, I'm, while that's going on, I'm invulnerable, untargetable. And it lasts a very decent amount of time. So let's see, let's go ahead and start picking up that. And that. And now I do have to move around a bit. Because otherwise, these guys will just uh, chunk me hard. But I can stop moving while I'm in this form, so it makes it a lot easier to, to uh, take them on. Just have to make sure to move. Let's go pick up this chest. Nice. That's very nice. Uh, the next card it needs to be the one. I need to take the one that makes those um, fireballs uh, pierce enemies, I believe. It's been a while since I've used the uh, the, the Hellfire wand. Just running in circles. Okay, I can stop. And I believe those two guardians are dead. Which means I can just sit here and level things up. There we go, additional bounces. And now I'm pretty much good. The rest of the game is just sitting here, um, picking up experience, leveling up, uh, getting some evolutions going. Uh, so let's get that out of there. Start working on these uh, left and right pieces so I can hopefully uh, get the red cloak. Which again, um, uh, the red cloak will uh, make so the maximum amount of damage I can take from a hit is 10. And since I have, you know, I'm going towards 600 XP or, uh, health, I essentially just can't die. Especially once I start like regenerating health and absorbing health, you know, it's just uh, impossible to die. But until that point, we have to sit here and level things up. I haven't also I have also not picked up the uh, skull of the maniac or whatever this thing right here on the top left um, I'll do that once I've got the cloak just because that every level that increases the speed health speed and health and I believe damage of the enemies and I'm it's not really useful for me right now I usually try to level up the left piece and the silver ring first when I'm trying to go for their item. Just because they're the benefit parts, the right hand part and the uh, gold ring give you negatives. So see the right hand increases enemy speed, health, quantity, and frequency. So that's kind of uh, makes things more difficult. Same thing for the gold ring. So when given the chance, I'll usually go with the left. But I'm not super worried about it right now because I have a lot of damage going out. A lot of the right. And again, it's just this isn't very hard once you're once you have Queen Sigma. Because you can, for the most part, just kind of stand here. Especially if you, you've unlocked all the Arcanas. Um, it's pretty much just a... Keep, you, pay, you have to pay attention in case, like, a oh crap moment kind of hits. But that's almost never happens. The thing that helps this build also is having that attract orb with the um so pretty much everything in this in the entire screen if anything dies on screen uh, it's within the range of the attract orb will bring that into me so i don't have to worry about running around and picking up xp
Alright, getting close to the red cloak. Come on. I think in this game is just ridiculous with the uh, on-screen effects. <laughs> just non-stop explosions and damage numbers blowing out your eyeballs. out over there let's try and pick this up and see if I get the red cloak I do perfect caps all damage at 10 and retaliates so it's nice I believe everything else is ready to level up as well perfect do need to pick up the skull. Can't pick up this one thing when you're inside that galaxy um, effect. You can't pick up items, so you have to wait. Pick that up. I just will get these. And now I can just kind of sit here and just uh, keep picking these up. Essentially vulnerable. We have about um, eight and a half minutes. Okay, which one do we want? Hmm, retaliation damage. Really need any more health. Take Wicked Season. I don't need money really. Yeah, let's go with this one. I like the Wicked Season. So much is going on on the screen. <laughs> Got a lot of chests out there too. Well, once everything is completed, I'll go about collecting some chests. <laughs> just chilling <laughs> once you've got uh, a lot of these evolutions uh, kind of memorized it's uh it's not too bad remember when I just started out on this game I could barely last you know a minute on the first level with the first character and you know it's a slow ramp up at the very beginning to get to this point, but within, you know, I'd say uh, five or six hours, you're pretty much blowing through stuff. Um, it's not all easy, obviously, because different levels have different uh, levels of difficulty. But once you start unlocking these items, um, it really exp expands your uh, repertoire of what you can do and uh, how you can uh, take on different challenges. I mean, especially once you've kind of like unlocked everything and then you get Queen Sigma, uh, she makes this all super easy by, by having like 118 rerolls, skips, and banishes instead of the normal amount that you would get. But I just essentially think of it as, you know, hey, Rather than start restarting over and over and over again until I get the perfect items that I wanted to, I'll just do it on the first try, you know. 
So it's not like I, uh, it makes it any easier because I still have to level up all of the items. I have to still get, you know, uh, keep myself from dying. It doesn't make my character any more likely to survive, really. And I think I have two more levels of the gold ring. Ghost mode. Alright, this is the last one. I always just do random always. Ooh. There's that item. There's that. Let's see, there's another chest right here somewhere. I think I picked it up. No. Oof. It can be very difficult to see. Chest. Hey, hey, hey. Cool. E. Crazy furniture flying around. Just level this up. Max it out. Now let's see if we can get anything else to drop. Oh. Trying to see these chests. Here's one. See if I can get lucky and get a. Doesn't look like it. We only have a minute and a half left. Can't see this other chest. Too much going on. A lot of damn. Oh, right there. Yeah, alright. Okay, less than a minute to go, and then, uh. This thing will be dead. Or, uh, we'll fight death. Beat normal death, and then get killed by white death. <laughs> I'm gaining levels. <laughs> All right, fighting death down at the bottom right. He got frozen. <laughs> it's funny, my uh, thing keeps freezing him before he can even go. Oh, there he is. <laughs> That's a lot of damage numbers going off. Boom, I beat death. And then the bell tolls for me. Yeah, you might not have noticed, but I, I uh, shaved off the beard. It was just, uh, too hot. I wanted to look clean shaven for the wedding I was attending. I think I'm gonna keep it off for a while at least. Let us. That was it. So stage complete. Cool, cool. So let's do another Sigma stage. Hmm, the library is pretty fun. They all pretty much function the same. Bone zone is pretty fun as well. And start off with the blood of uh, astronomia. Alright. Kind of uh, sit here for a little bit. Might as well, um... Might as well pick up a card from this guy. Connect that here. 
Ja vittu. Okei. Okay. There we go. Oh, we don't have anything extra here. I mean, I think I'm going to do the Shadow Servant this time around. Maybe just a little differently. I need a Skull O Maniac as well. <clears throat> Give me the XP. Uh, on this level, uh, all the enemies are undead themed, if you couldn't tell. Don't want your Santa water. Leave me alone. Have a Snickers. It's Halloween. <laughs> Let's max that out. I think a whole lot of great items. Okay, so I want to get the fire wand. Not gonna grab the crown this time around. I think. This level also, I believe, is a 30 minute time limit. On uh, normal mode or uh, non endless mode. Mm. Need that fire wand. It's just not dropping for me, huh? Oh, let's reroll a bit and see if we can get it to show up. Well, there's a skull of maniac. Where is my fire wand? Not sure yet if we're gonna do the cats. Probably will. The fire wand. Well, what the hey -o. There we go, finally. So let's see here, we got Rona's box. That's out there, that's out there. This one goes with that, it goes with that. So I guess I have an open weapon slot. So I guess I will do the cats. Kitty cats. And the mask. Kitty cat mask. Do empty tone. I just need stone mask.
Pokemon Stone Mask. There we go. All right, let's level up some of this damage. And then start putting together the red cloak. And again, just like last time, once you have the red cloak, it pretty much is impossible to lose. Um, I guess you could do it. You can take just 10 damage over and over and over again so fast that it kills you, but you'd have to have like nothing else going on. <laughs> No other items, you know? <laughs> Luckily, the undead are uh, pretty uh, easy to fend off compared to some of the other uh, animals or NPCs you can get. And again, I don't believe you can get um, evolutions until right around the 10 minute mark, give or take a bit. Get everything leveled up as much as possible before the 10 minute mark. Doing really good. I'm not gonna do that yet. Focusing a little bit more on damage right now. level of the um, cooldown reduction, might as well. We're sitting pretty good actually. extra items in this level so you have to level up lots of cats running around <laughs> level is everything cats have one more other rings mm -hmm. get a little bit of a restless leg so this will probably be the last level I do tonight where I hop in bed it to um, bounce more bounce and again I'm just running in circles Oh, 
Ah, shoot. All right, because it just moved it all. I wasn't paying attention at the time. Might as well pick some of these up. Get them out of here. Sure, why not? Give me individual. Oh. Okay, I had two evolutions. Not bad. Let's see, there's another chest here. Right there. It'd be nice if it gave me the red cloak right away. That'll help out with some untargetable action. <laughs> right away! Two more levels. Level ups. level is actually going a lot better than the previous one. I mean, it's only at the 12 minute mark and it pretty much com beats your complete. One more level. And then it pretty much just goes on to um, uh, the waiting game. It'll be a long wait this time around. Hmm. Come on, people, give me one more level. Taking their sweet time. Lefty. There we go. Now I can pick up this bad boy and I just get to do the waiting game. Nothing can kill me. This is Skull Maniac first. I want to upgrade the uh, Ophirion or Ophion. Orathon. Shadow Servant thing. Take a while. I'm gonna take my shoes off. No reason to have them on right now. Ooh. Just in time for something to level up. going on unfortunately come on level up all right level five let's see if I can get Ooh. there we go Ophion Leave last only thing that's left to level up and evolve is the um the uh god what's it called the ring and like you get the final ring the one ring <laughs> Ooh, the heat's turned on So slow. 
<sighs> Didn't take the crown this time around. Item. Okay. And that's that. Everything else now is just a waiting game. Pretty much no way I can die. any reason to pick up chests either. Well. Um, while we're waiting here this last 10 minutes, we can just do a quick little uh, announcement. So I am going to be getting back into doing some streaming. Uh, my computer is getting old. It's on some of its last legs. Made it, you know, uh, oh, about six Wow, 2014, I think, 2015. So at the bare minimum, it's been seven-ish, somewhere between seven plus years old. Um, it works fine for the things I'm in. However, any like a lot of the new games are, I have to turn them down a lot. And I, ugh, I don't mind turning down graphics a little bit. But the big thing for me is is the uh, frame rate, and I don't. Uh, my computer can't really handle the frame rate of a lot of the newer games, so I'm not going to be able to really stream a whole bunch of the new stuff. But I'm looking into different things I can do. You know, maybe using like Nvidia uh, or GeForce Now to um, run some games, like maybe Cyberpunk or something, and then get everything back up and running now that I'm feeling a lot better. I'm not 100% yet, but I would like to start getting things going again. So, just get it. Just a matter of doing it. Trying out some different games. I might do some Conan Exiles, or maybe some um, Elder Scrolls Online. I was also looking at doing some uh, Master Chief Collection, because, man, I... I used to just play the hell out of those games back in the day on the original Xbox. Um, so it would be kind of fun to go through and just play through the uh, campaigns in order. You know, first Halo 1, Halo 2, Halo 3, 4. Um, so I might be doing some of that going forward. Uh, I also might play some... Uh, just some various other games I've been looking at. Nothing super crazy, more just for fun and and uh, just to pass some time and just have fun with it, really. <laughs> also looking at doing, uh, starting up another D&D uh, &D, uh, 5th edition game. So right now I run, uh, I run two paid games. And then, uh, and then two free games, and then I'm also a player in I'm also a player in four other games, which is crazy. There's just a lot of a lot of D and D in my life, which is awesome. Um, can't have too much D and D. But we'll, uh, I might have to at some point try and start streaming some of that. Maybe get, uh, get some D&D stream going or just 
Nothing too fancy. I'll probably do a module. Uh, I've been having a lot of fun with some of the modules. Um, some, some not as much, and others. So like, um, Out of the Abyss is is kind of eh for me. It doesn't have very good maps for the most part, or just no maps at all in a lot of parts. And I'm a big map person, which is okay because I can go online and, and find stuff or I can make my own maps. Um, but it's just kind of nice to have a story set up where, you, where I GM, I can just kind of read read through and kind of know where all the story beats are, where I have to drop a hint, how I can help the players in order to, you know, arrive somewhere r r realistically close to the end point of the module. But anyway, that's just a, a bunch of stuff that I'm keeping up with and throwing streaming on top of it, and we'll see how it goes. <laughs> I'll have to get Cassie roped into some of this also. She's all, She also came down with COVID after I got it. Uh, she got it uh, about two days later. So she didn't get it from me. She just gestated longer, um, wherever we got it, probably on the flight. But she's also negative. Um, but she's also starting to develop a little bit of a cough. So we might have to take her in for a uh, lung checkup. Uh, looks like the, we got 10 seconds left, so I'm gonna cut out the chatter. Hey. Oh, we did get a box. Right at the very end. When it's not really going to matter. Hmm. Don't really have anything. I guess I can do flames and misspell because technically I have the items to it, the passives. Doesn't matter because they all disappear. Oh, I guess I made enough. Um. <laughs> Poor undead dude. Mr. Death. We even think about doing some uh, classic World of Warcraft uh, hard mode. Yeah, I'm not sure if I want. I feel like spending the uh, fifteen dollars a month on World of Warcraft. <coughs> uh, did that for many years, and I've moved on to bigger and better things. I think. <sighs> I'm in there somewhere, underneath all the fireballs and the smoke and the lines of force. <laughs> Boom. All right. Boom. Not bad, not bad. All right. Well, that is uh, that's going to do it for me for tonight. A uh, nice little uh, short and sweet, nothing too involved. Vampire Survivors is always a little fun game to jump into. So I will uh, I'm gonna stop the stream there, and then I'll post this and have it pop up on the YouTube channel probably tomorrow. And I will, uh, I will see you all soon. <laughs> Bye, everybody.